good morning and welcome to my little tour of Hotel Club Cala Romani. It's not going to be a very long tour because I think a lot of the places are locked this morning. It's 7.30 in the morning, breakfast opens from 8 till 10, so it's pretty sharp. 7.30, still a bit misty out this morning, October the 12th or something, 13th. Really, really hot yesterday. It was sort of like hit 28 to 30 degrees yesterday. But that's was cracking weather, but it's a little bit misty and a bit of cloud on and off and that. But anyway, this tour will be just the hotel tour. My other video will be a vlog, and that will be more of um, me and darling Julian out and about doing a few bits and pieces and drinks. And also, there's a few of my opinions on the place in the other video. This video is just going to be a little quick look around and show you about it. It's, not, it's on one pl plane, so one plane. It's on one sort of area, so uh, just to quickly show you a few rooms and that, if they let me, they should do. And um, yeah, a lot of the rooms will be locked, I'm assuming, so we're just going to go and have a little quick shifty about and uh, go up to the doors, basically. It's all on one area, so it shouldn't take long. I'm going to go back to bed for half hour. Might have an early breakfast today, to be fair. We'll see. Right, let's pop in now. Let's turn the camera around. We'll start at the beginning. That's the front of the hotel there. Big, big place. Built, I would say, in the 60s. Um, look at that. We're room 434, right at the end. If you're in room 400, you're right down the end. And then the reception's in the middle, and then you've got rooms to the right down the end there. There's also another hotel block behind that one. So, um, let's pop in and have a look, shall we? Quite a bit of a quiet road, this one, so it's quite nice and safe. Alright, reception area here. Again, if I look sad, I'm going to do the video, but I'm just ignoring. And, um, so, this room here is. I've got a planner. Morning. Yeah. Closed. So this is the, we find about the apple transfers. Right, this is just redundant, this room's redundant, it's not really used to be fair. And it's the cases are kept at the back there. Drinks and snacks. Let's go back out, I think. Reception. Down this, down this end here, this is the lift I've just come out of. But, um, Through there is a bar, another door there. Right, through here uh, is a bar which is open till midnight. I think that's shut now, isn't it? Yeah, it's shut. Um, okay, let's go back down there, shall we? Right, doors out. Oh, it's nice, look. Yeah, so down the end there, so let me just turn the camera around, the end bit here. Now, let me show you. This bar here at the end has got an outdoor terrace area with double doors. Um, let's see if we can see through. I think it's frosted. We've got blinds up. Yeah, quite a nice bar that is. Not a bad bar that one, but it's open until midnight. Um, some proper 80s tunes they play there, but the negative I would say is it's bright. The lights are bright, bright lights, so don't sort of dim the lights, there's no atmosphere. Why they put the bright lights? So there's people playing cards and that stuff there, you know? Cribbage, well, not cribbage. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I'll, I'll save my opinions like I say for the other video. Um, there's people putting towels down there, 7.30, 22, 8. You don't need to put towels down this place, I found. It's pretty busy. It's pretty, um, there's loads of beds. Tables and chairs are more popular than the beds. The beds are flat plastic beds. A lot of them are broken. Again, that's an opinion, so that we might vlog, I think. Let's go down the ramp, shall we? Alright, nice big ramp down here, look. I don't know if it's been raining, or they jet wash it, or what? A footpath there down the bottom, there's a little sign there, footpath. I think it's about a 15 minute walk, maximum, down that path. 
to the beach. Lovely, lovely little walk that is. Tennis courts, football pitch at the bottom there, with some swings and slides for the kids. All right, let's go down here. It's a bit up early, isn't it? You don't need to get up that early here, to be fair. I don't think you do. Right, down we go. It's not a bad place, to be fair. Um, music's played under there. And entertainment, but we've not had any much entertainment there, to be fair, outdoor entertainment. Massive area, look. Now, you've got... I don't actually know what this is. I think this is the photographs in here. Yeah, it's a photo shop, so you've had your photos taken. Table tennis, table tennis. And then in here, you've got toilets. Stairs upstairs to the reception. A couple of machines there. And toilets in there. Let's go back out, right. So, own gift shop. Close on a Friday. That's handy. Alright, it's closed on a Friday. Something to arrive on a Friday, but there you go. Gift shop towels, fourteen ninety five. Towels down the road, then the square of shops, uh, four ninety five. So ten pound mark. Nice. So all is there. Nearly 8 o'clock, people walking into the breakfast room already at the restaurant. <coughs> breakfast there. You don't need to at this place, we've been getting down at 9, 10 o'clock. And um, getting a bed and a, having breakfast and that. Uh, sorry, half 9, because it shuts at 2. It's 8 till 10 breakfast, so I might pop in there and sneak breakfast. and be camera in there, so I'm not be breakfast. But, um, people are going a bit mad. I think there's a lot of new people here today. This is the breakfast place and restaurant. There's a time slot on there. Breakfast place, restaurant, bar, etc. Right, huge. But you don't need to get here that early, I don't think. <clears throat> it's not even open yet, look. Jesus, what a time. A couple of minutes to. A couple of minutes to eight. Morning. A couple of minutes to eight, and that's uh, so you got machines there. You can't get in here. There's a clubhouse there. I might have some video footage for you in there. Clubhouse, clubhouse there. I think it's open till midnight as well. Entertainment in there every night. Bar here, which is open at night until ten. I think this bar. Right. Oh look, what's that say? Doesn't. Right, okay. Snack bar over there. Have a look at the snack bar, shall we? Oh, I just think it says no scooters. Oh, no scooters. So snack bar there. So bar there for drinks. That's like a pool bar. Snack bar there that does wine, red and white wine. And that's open, I think that's open 12, 11, 12. Um, chips, 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 pizza, pizza, chips. But you've got an outdoor area here, which is nice. There you go, because these doors can open up. And then I think the other hotel there in front of me is part of this place. So you might get a room in that hotel as well, separate. And um, that's pretty much my friends, is it? 
I don't know if it's been raining during the night or not. I think it has, although Jet washed it. A couple of mornings now we've opened up. The toilet's there, is it? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of mornings now we've got up and it's been wet everywhere, so I think it's been raining during the night or early hours of the morning. I'm not sure, but like I say, October, we've had cracking weather. We normally come to uh, Mallorca every year in October. We get fantastic weather. So you do not need, there's a lot of new people here and they're putting the towels down. I don't know if realise, you do not need to put your towels down at this time of morning. Also, later on today, oh, they predicted, I think, rain from 2, two to 4. Um, have a little look around. I think, I think they've got the towels lined up there, look. God. Broken chair. These beds, no adjustment. A lot of people at the moment have got no adjustment on the beds. Let's have a look over it. So you've got a ramp down here, a ramp down there, leading to the football pitch, and the tennis course. I think you can hire the bats and that from the reception. I think they've got so you put a deposit down. Um, and your voice is down, was Anyway, yeah, so beds. They're fixed. People are moaning about these beds are fixed at the back. Make sure you don't get one that's broken. A lot of them are broken, cracked in the middle. Some of us have pants there, happy days. God dear. Wait well, at the, the newbies. Lovely, lovely pole. That is basically it. That's a whole complex in one hit, I would say. Um, as I say, there's a few places that shut. I'll try and put a clip of the uh, club up if I get a chance. But it's a self-enclosed place. Um, watch my other vlog and you'll see what I think of the place. We had a bit of a night on our first trip here, to be fair. First night here was a bit of a nightmare, so I sort of put a damp on it straight away. Um, it's all right. If you've got young children, you can let them run loose here pretty much, which I think people do. Uh, there's a lot of families here with young kids. And they've got, um, you know, you've got your breakfast in the morning, your lunch, your snack bar, your breakfast, food, food in the evening. There's always chips on bowls. The, the food, watch my other vlog. Um, Jill's, Jill quite like the food, I think. The place is okay. If you've got young kids, you're laughing. It's enclosed, it's all sort of gated off and fenced off. You can pretty much let them run around and do what they want, which a lot of parents I think do here. Uh, give a couple of quiz the amusements over there in the clubhouse. They can go and get chips, snack bars. There's uh, slush machines running all day. There's squash, um, not squash, sorry, soft drinks they can get. Fanta lemon, Fanta orange, Coca-Cola, lemonade, Pepsi diet, Pepsi whatever. So, you know, if you've got young children, you're laughing. For me and Jill? Nah, not really. I should have got adult only. I actually thought the kids were at school. I didn't realise there was like kids' school holidays in Scotland and places and that. But there you go. It's just a nice little, little island you can walk right across there, look. They do do, I think every evening they've done children's, there's a children's entertainment room over there. I've not seen anyone in that, but they have done entertainment in the clubhouse every night early on for the kids, with uh, the, the um, staff entertaining the kids. And they've done some pool activities for kids as well. They've also done some walk polo and stuff on football. For adults on the other side of the pool. This pool here, so that's the adult pool there. We're facing the hotel at the moment, so the left hand pool is the adult pool there, and the right hand pool there is the children's pool. And, um, is that a children's pool? Yeah, I thought it was slightly shallower, and then you've got another one even shallower over there. There you go. Right. And as I say, you've got a lot of new people here this morning. It got up nice and early. But they don't need to. It's pretty good here, to be fair. I've been to worse places. I've been to a lot worse places when the beds are, you know, an absolute nightmare. This, I've actually been sleeping in on this holiday. I'm not worrying about getting a bed. 
Let me just show you this footpath down. I'm not going to do it, it's a bit of a walk, but you can walk straight to the beach down this path here. This path here. Follow the green road all the way down to the beach. It's a lovely little stroll. And then you've got the, um, I don't know if that's a pool there, I think it is a little shallow pool there. I wasn't sure if it was a pool or. I thought it was a puddle at first, to be fair, but I think it is actually a tiny pool. I've never seen anyone in it. You've got a few little kids for sitting there, swings and slides. Look, your kids are going to play on there. And you've got your tennis, colts, and your football pitch. A bit misty at the moment, no sun yet. I think it's going to be one of those days, shame. Checking out this morning, quick tour of the room at um, this hotel complex. So let's turn the camera around. Room, what was it? What number were we? Four, seven, four, three, four, A and B. We're right at the end, the furthest away from the lift, I think. Four, three, four, A. There's a room, pretty basic. Switch is a bloody nightmare. You don't need to put a card in. Toilet, basic. Um, a little bit in need of decorations, as we say, but it is a three star hotel. Couldn't even bother putting any trims on here, look. I'm going to do that for all day. Um, mirrors a bit, yeah, anyway, what it is, it's what it is. So, out of there, into the main room, let's shut this door. Because we ain't got much room here. Through the room, you get your switches, fiddle about with them. You haven't got a thing via card, which thought it was, so you fiddle about with them, they sort of work somewhere. Light there, light there, aircon which works. Um, place for your bag, rest there, table, TV. TV was not used, we've only been here five days, four days, whatever it was. We didn't bother. You had to put a 10 euro, I think a five or 10 euro deposit on the remote control. We couldn't be bothered personally, we thought it was a bit petty. There you go. Safe, we did get a key because we have heard some rumors on TripAdvisor. Um, so you've got your double wardrobe there, built in with hangers, only a few hangers there. Um, no sockets at this side of the bed. All right, oops, turn it on. Turn it on actually. No sockets this side of the bed. Uh, you have got sockets under there. And quite a thin walls. I won't bang because um, they're quite a thin walls. Not very well insulated, so you can hear next door from both sides. Yeah, and you've also got an adjoining door, which obviously is locked. But I suppose they open this up if you have a family, I'm not sure. But obviously it's a thin door, not insulated at all, so you will hear noise. Just like shutting the door at home, really. Um, we are ready to go. So you've got a socket here for that one. A little pretty basic really, look. Fancy lights up there. you got your smoke detector and that there. And you got your patio door here. We couldn't open this curtain fully for some reason. It's, it's stuck there, so we couldn't open that. But it sort of opens with a door. Not a bad size balcony, really. Two chairs, little table and ashtray. Um, not a bad little view. There's a sea down there, and the swimming pools are there. That is about it, my friends. We're checking out this morning, but our flight's not till later on. So we've got to dump our bags, check out, and I think we're going to have access to breakfast and lunch today until the coach turns up and picks us up. Um, it's been all right. Like I said, I said it before, you get what you pay for. The weather's been lovely. I've got a little bit of a tan. I've had a nice tattoo for my birthday next week, so happy days. It's all good. Um, it's been all right, the staff have been good, the cleaners have been good. Um, as I say, people mind about the little tokens of the drinks, but it's not a problem. You can hand them in and get your cups all the time. I haven't actually, I got them, brought me cups home last night, look. So I've got to take them down and get a drink, they'll swap for clean cups. But you can hand them in and say, can I have some tokens, please? 
I think you, I can't remember if you pay for the tokens or not. I don't know if there's a euro per token, you get them back at the end. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember if we paid for the safe. Will we visit again? Not sure, but I wouldn't say no. You know, if you've got a young family and you're limited to a budget and you want a little breakaway, this, the kids love it here. It's all enclosed, kids' club, pizza, chips, and food, and stuff like that. So you don't have to spend any money. We had a great night last night, we went back out again. My favourite bar, Travellers Inn, Hang Road. And there's a little parade of square shops there, fantastic, lot of shops and bars. Travellers Inn's a great little bar, and next door, and all three places there, pizza place next door. And um, the uh, Angus Burger, oh, gorgeous. Thank you for watching that little tour of the hotel, my little tour of the hotel. Um, you get what you pay for in life, I think people say, and this is pretty much true for this place. You know, if you've got a family, kids, you are pro pretty much, you're probably laughing if they eat sort of anything and that. It's all good to go, and you get a cheap deal. Um, it's not for us, but watch my vlog. Having said that, we had a good night last night. One night we went out and had to treat ourselves to a steak, and then we had a few beers and karaoke. That was a good night out. We spent a few quid, under a quid. Last night we went out, we no, sorry, last night we stayed in. And um, we didn't spend any money at all, we still had a good night. We went to the clubhouse, watched the entertainment, which was absolutely dire. And then we, we had some food in the house. I just picked some chips because the food was not to my liking. Then we went to the clubhouse, had some drinks, then we ended up upstairs to the bar till half past seven, quarter to midnight. And had a few, um, I hit the vodka and cokes, you hit the gin and tonics. One of the better drinks I do hit, to be fair, because the beer, after a while, in plastic cups gets a bit... Uh, same as so um thank you for watching i'll catch you again in the next one cheers leave comments below and as i say if you want more information watch the vlog which will be linked to at the belt on this one thank you very much Ta -ra.